As you may be aware, the Amhara region has been witnessing heavy and prolonged conflict on multiple fronts, primarily between the Amhara Fano militia and the Ethiopian National Defense Forces, ENDF. Recent reports suggest that the Fano forces have achieved significant victories, while the ENDF has suffered substantial losses in recent battles. The most current updates indicate that intense fighting is now concentrated in Kobo, a city situated in northern Wello. Reports have indicated that this fighting is not limited to the outskirts, but has also engulfed the city itself. The ENDF is reported to have deployed heavy weaponry in this particular front, underscoring the gravity of the situation. As of the latest reports, the fighting in Kobo remains extremely intense, with Fano forces having reached the outskirts of the city and gaining control over certain parts. It is also reported that the Fano forces are actively attempting to penetrate deeper into the city, further escalating the conflict. Kobo holds immense strategic importance in the Amhara region, as it is located along the crucial A2 highway and ranks among the most populous cities in the region. Given its significance, both sides are fiercely vying for control over Kobo. Consequently, heavy and sustained fighting continues to unfold in and around the city, resulting in a volatile and highly fluid situation. On the other hand, we find ourselves amidst a tumultuous situation in the Gonda region of Ethiopia, where intense and protracted fighting continues to ravage various areas, including Azezo and Ibinat. According to the most recent and reliable reports, Azezo and Ibinat, both strategically located within the Gonda region, remain engulfed in relentless and violent confrontations. One of the distressing developments that have emerged amidst this strife is the surrender of a substantial number of Ethiopian National Defense Force, ENDF, soldiers to the Fano forces in Azezo Gonda. This shocking turn of events has been documented in a video that has come into our possession portraying ENDF soldiers in the custody of Fano forces. Towards the conclusion of this report, we will share this video with you allowing you to witness the gravity of the situation. As the world watches with bated breath, the Fano forces have managed to infiltrate Gonda City itself. The most recent updates indicate that intense combat still rages on in various areas, both within the city and its surrounding perimeters. The fall of Gonda City represents a significant setback for the ENDF, not only in terms of territorial loss, but also as a substantial blow to their strategic ambitions in the region. The current state of affairs sees ENDF soldiers diligently striving to reclaim control of the city. As previously reported in our earlier updates, additional ENDF troops were swiftly deployed from Bahirdar to Gonda with the aim of reinforcing their presence. However, the latest reports suggest that Fano fighters have successfully halted the advance of ENDF soldiers towards Gonda City, firmly maintaining their positions. Intriguingly, information from sources closely aligned with the Fano forces reveals a disconcerting development. Amhara Fano troops have managed to capture a significant number of ENDF soldiers during recent clashes in Gonda. These claims are substantiated by photographic evidence, as images circulate from these Fano sources depicting soldiers clad in Ethiopian army uniforms under the custody of Amhara Fano forces. Furthermore, there exist additional images of a highly sensitive nature, which we, regrettably, cannot share due to their graphic content. These images portray deceased ENDF soldiers within the confines of Gonda City, underscoring the gravity of the situation. On a different but equally concerning note, we have received alarming reports of an urgent situation unfolding at the University of Gonda. The well-being of students is now in jeopardy as the military has taken drastic measures, including the construction of defensive trenches inside the Markaki campus. Shockingly, 
The city itself has become a battleground, with the military shelling Gonda from within its own borders. This turn of events has left the academic community in turmoil, as just weeks ago, the presence of the military within faculty residences resulted in casualties among teaching staff. The situation in Ethiopia has taken a significant turn, with the reported destruction of Ethiopian army forces in and around the city of Gondar by Fano forces. Gondar, a city known for its rich history and strategic importance, has now reportedly fallen into the hands of these opposition forces, marking a critical development in the ongoing conflict in the country. The capture of such a historic city raises questions about the stability of Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed's government and the Ethiopian National Defense Forces, ENDF. The reported destruction of the Ethiopian army and the capture of Gondar highlight the weakening of Abiy's regime, which has been facing mounting challenges and internal strife. The Ethiopian government's struggle to maintain control over various regions within the country has been a recurring issue, and the fall of Gondar could signify a major setback for the government's efforts to assert its authority. Disturbing reports have emerged, suggesting that the ENDF is targeting Amhara students at Addis Ababa University. These reports claim that there is video evidence of dead bodies, along with the sounds of gunfire and pleas for mercy in the background. However, due to YouTube's content policies, such videos cannot be shared openly. The alleged mass killing of students by the ENDF is a deeply troubling development that has understandably sparked outrage and condemnation both within Ethiopia and internationally. Tragically, Incidents like these can serve as catalysts for further unrest and resistance against the current regime. The students who have been affected by these reported attacks may now feel compelled to join the broader struggle against the government. This uprising, fueled by the anger and grief resulting from the violence against students, has the potential to escalate and draw in more city residents into the Amhara resistance movement. Ethiopia's internal conflicts have been a matter of international concern for some time, and the situation appears to be increasingly dire. The reported destruction of the Ethiopian army in Gondar and the alleged attacks on students only serve to exacerbate the ongoing crisis, raising questions about the future stability of the country and the potential for further violence and turmoil. It is crucial for the international community to closely monitor the situation and seek peaceful solutions to help prevent further escalation of the conflict and protect the well-being of the Ethiopian people.